Hey there, Stamperers and Crafters, and welcome to my online class where today we're going to be making this adorable card. This card is from Jeanette Howard. She is a friend and stamp it demonstrator in my group, and I see that she is on this live stream. So hi, Jeanette, and thank you for this amazing idea. She actually did this for one of our blog hops. Every month we do a, a blog hop where we share these awesome ideas, and they're all um, around a certain theme. And this one she did in December, and I just fell in love with it. And I was like, oh, we have to make this card. So, so very cool. And uh, it, it uses the Whiskey Business stamp set. And um, the stamp set is super fun. It's got some great puns in it. And, I, you know, I see a couple of you in there. Well, I, I don't drink whiskey. Totally fine, because you could make punch out of it, too. You could make this a perfume decanter. You could do a lot of different things in here. You know, I, just so super fun. So this is the card here. It is, um, we're, we're calling this, <laughs> I'm calling it the, the bendy bar. She called it the bar, the bar fold, fun fold. So what happens is, and I'm just going to pop this out. So it folds down flat. It fits in a normal sized envelope. So this is a medium sized envelope here. And it will fit right in there when it folds down flat. And then when your person gets it, they pop it up. And you've got a little pop up. It's hard for me to, it stands up like this, but it, you know, you can't see it when I do that. Sorry. <laughs> but it's super cute. It's really easy to make. So this is actually part one of a two part series. So today I'm going to be making the bendy fold from Jeanette. And on Friday, you want to come back because I'm going to be making a magic card out of the same set, but slightly different um, than the normal uh, magic cards that I normally make. Look at this. Ooh, super fun. Super fun. I'll show you how to put a stopper on there. I know every time I do a magic card, someone goes, well, what stops it from coming out? And normally I don't, I want it to come out because people want to take it apart. But I'll show you how to put a stopper on this one if you don't want it to come out. And, ta-da, brilliant, right? So you've got, you've got like a card within a card here. So stay tuned. This is Friday's online class. I'm just teasing you <laughs> with the awesomeness. Okay. Yeah, Jeanette says she is on here. She says uh, there's so many other sets that can be used with this awesome idea. And she is absolutely right. All right, so let's get started with the fun. Um, I'm going to start with our stamping. And uh, just a, a quick reminder, or um, <laughs> maybe it's an announcement. If you're new, you, you might not know this. But if you're a regular, you probably already have downloaded this. Um, with every online class that I have, I have an accompanying PDF that has all the measurements and supplies and a spot for you to write there. I also have a, a cutting guide on this particular one. The cutting guide actually is um, it's pretty handy. I think you'll, uh, <laughs> I think you'll like that one. Um, so I'm going to start with the stamping and then um, we'll get into the uh, making of the actual fun fold card. But don't worry about writing down the direction, uh, the dimensions because you can get those right on that PDF. So you can just get that PDF by either clicking on the link in this video's description. If you're on YouTube or Facebook, I'm live on both. Welcome. And then if you're new, please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the fun classes. And you can also get it by going to stampwithtammy.com. And if you click on the video tabs, all of my hundreds and hundreds of videos will come up there with all kinds of fun techniques and different things. One more thing before I get started, because this one's pretty important. I know you're all waiting for this one. What are we going to get? What do we win? What do we win? I also have a prize with everyone. So uh, this time, it is the beautiful World Bundle, which is actually uh, retiring. So um, this uh, is it's a great one. It's a fun one. I even have a PDF for sale with some fun folds with this beautiful World Bundle as well, if you already own that, or if you're hoping to win it, or if you're already buying it, if you're on the online, online store now buying it, either way. So uh, you can get that uh, by dropping a comment here on either of my Facebook or YouTube uh, channels right here in this video. And if you share this video and type the word um, type the word shared, then you will be entered a second time into that drawing. All right, so back down to the table. Let's get some fun in. All right, so stamping. The first thing I'm going to do is um, stamp our words. And then we're going to do some coloring today, too. We're going to do some coloring with the Stampin' Blends. Um, I pre-cut this label, and this label came from the um, or Ornate Frames dies. We have Ornate Layers and Ornate. There's, there's three Ornates, but this one was the Ornate Frame. Right? Right? Ornate Frames? We just, uh, yes, Ornate Frames. Okay. This is the... I, I, 
I put a little arrow to the one I cut. That's the one I pre-cut. Now, I'm also using shimmer white cardstock today, but you could do this with regular um, whisper white. I mean, basic white, sorry. Formerly known as whisper white as well. All right. So, put it in a little bit here. And I'm going to stamp the words straight up here the best. But there's, you know, you could stamp other words here. You could stamp other words from the set. You could stamp words from a different set. If you wanted to, I just love the puns on this one. Super fun. So I'm stamping that in Memento Black, just right on our, our layer there. And, um, oh, you know what? I just realized I don't have my whiskey glasses, which we're going to need. So <laughs> please forgive me. <laughs> I'm in a temporary spot right now. Uh, we have some major construction happening in my video studio, and all of my equipment had to move. Um, and <laughs> so kind of stamping in my office and I'm very glad that um, school is actually remote school is actually in today because um, if the kids were home this would be very loud <laughs> on top of thankfully the contractor's not here right now all right so I am just give me one second I'm going to go grab those glasses I promise I, I hate to leave you alone here but I'll give you something cool to look at look you didn't even know I was gone right <laughs> Whenever I do trainings, whenever I do trainings on videos with my group, I say, never, ever leave your people alone. <laughs> Unless you leave them with a cool project to look at. Okay. Thanks for, thanks for bearing with me. I appreciate it. Okay. So I've got the whiskey glass. I'm going to stamp that twice. Um, and if you want to put this on, um, if you want to put this on uh, your envelope, like I made a little envelope here out of some scrap paper, um, stamp your your bottle a second time. Okay. And let's do some coloring. So I had a little fun with this. Please forgive me because I'm going to need my readers now. Um, and the colors that I'm going to be using here are on that PDF. So don't, don't worry about writing them down. But I've got, in fact, I'm going to move. I'm going to move on, so I just want to make sure that I'm a lefty. I just want to make sure I'm not covering when I color. Um, I've got Crumb Cake, Cinnamon Cider, Daffodil Delight, and Balmy Blue. So I'm going to start with the Daffodil Delight because I wanted to do like a mixture. And you know when the light's on a, a good bottle, it shines in the middle. And the color of this is the color of the, you know, like a, a, a whiskey. You, you see it's kind of amberish. So I'm going to use the lighter of the Daffodil Delights in the middle here. And on the, on the ice cubes in the glasses, that's under the the liquid see this could this could go for so many different things these glasses could go for so many different things all right so then I'm gonna take um, and these are the alcohol markers here I'm gonna take just a little bit of the darker daffodil just to give it a little bit of pop and then we'll just blend that in just a little bit there. All right, now I'm going to move on to the cinnamon. And we're going to start with a lighter. Every um, of these Stampin' Blend markers, they have um, a lighter, they have a light and a dark, and then they have a brush tip end, and they have a fine tip end. The fine tip end would be for smaller areas, and the brush tip end um, for wider areas. I'm going to use the brush tip probably on this whole image. So I'm going to go, so this is like a bottom of the glass of the, the container here that um, that the liquid wouldn't go all the way down. So I'm not going to bring that all the way down. This also looks like iced tea. You can make these iced tea cards. An iced tea bar. <laughs> Lemonade stand. Okay, so I'm going to go with the darker of the, the cinnamon. <laughs> Peggy, you're on to me. She says, I like how you use that lid as a tray. Usually when I pull in this, this is the lid to a, uh, you know, one of those, it's like a shoebox size rubber made box that I put my projects in. And I, if I'm doing a video, I usually just throw the markers on it because it makes it easier to slide in and out. And uh, 
It never, ever fails. Somebody always asks, oh, where did you get that that tray or holder for your <laughs> for your Stampin' Bloods? I'm like, Walmart. <laughs> All right, so just highlighting, and just actually going with kind of the shading on the gl glass there that was already in the image with the darker marker there. And then we'll go back with um, the lighter. You know what I realized? Um, I'm not even gonna do it on that one. I don't, you don't need the crumb cake on this project. I used a crumb cake on Friday's project, so that one I'm, that one I'm gonna put on hold. All right, I'm going back to the light Daffodil Delight for the very end, just to blend that very last bit in. And last but not least, okay, so I'm gonna take, oh, Long Island iced tea, yes. I like your thinking, Terry. All right, so now I'm gonna take, this is what's called the Color Lifter. It's not really an eraser, but it lightens up. So that is going to, see how that gives the look of, it's just like glowing. That container is just glowing right there. Very cool. Then I'm gonna take some paper snips and trim those out. They are very easy to trim out. They don't, you know, there's not, this one, just the top is the only thing that gives you a little bit of a bend to it. And the, the glasses are pretty much straight. So they're very easy to trim out as well too, so. You know, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I love to color and I like to fussy cut. I find it very therapeutic for some reason. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe I'm just weird. <laughs> All right. No, maybe there. I know. I'm just weird. I can handle it. <laughs> All right. Okay, so we've got one piece cut out here, and then we'll just cut out our cups too. All right. See what, see what I mean here? These are just like straight, easy to cut. One and two. And then we'll get to the fun fold. You guys you guys waiting for this? And I know Jeanette um, really uh, had some fun with this fun fold. She was making this for her son, this card. Well, she was, making, she was using it in the blog hop, but then she gave it to her son. She had a lot of fun with it. I've been dying to make this card. <laughs> Ever since December, I've been dying to make this card. <laughs> Oh, good times. All right, so there's our pieces. These are our stamped pieces, colored and ready to go. So now we're gonna jump into that fun fold. Oh, I'm glad you're learning to love fussy cutting. Okay, so I actually started with a full sheet of um, early espresso, and that's gonna be our card base. The reason why is because I'm actually going to, I'm going to do, I'm going to make this card exactly as it is. And then I'm going to take it a step further because I knew when I made this card, somebody or somebody's was going to ask, sorry, it's not popped up. There we go. Where do you write? Where do you write your greeting? Where do you stamp your greeting? So there are multiple ways to do that. There are multiple ways that you can do it on here and, and it will look really cool. And I'm going to show them to you. So stay tuned, because this was my original, but I'm going on the fly here. Stamp it on the fly. All right. Also, because I'm in kind of a small space today, because I'm not in my normal uh, studio, and I'm kind of cramped in my office, <laughs> and I don't have a lot of space to spread out, I didn't have my Simply Score tool, so I'm going to be using the uh, paper trimmer and the scoring blade on the paper trimmer trimmer. You could go either way with this. You could, you could do your scoring tool or you could do the paper trimmer. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut this at five and a half, which is half. And then um, I'm going to cut this at four and a quarter. So that's 
right now we've got quarters, right? Quarter of a sheet. And then we're going to just put this in here and it's we're going to score it in half. And that's two and three quarters is the half mark there. Okay, so that'll be our card base. I'm going to go ahead and do two of those. The, the directions only call for one. But I'm going to do two. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll clue you in after. All right, so next up, uh, we're going to make our uh, actual bar here. So our bar, when it pops up, is made of, um, the bar, the background, is all made of uh, in, in Good Taste Designer Series paper. And that Designer Series paper, I know I predicted this when I did my What You Need to Know About uh, Retiring in Color video, the presentation I did there. Um, I talked about how all of, almost every year, the Designer Series paper retires. And the only exception of that would be like the, the stacks of Color Family uh, Designer Series paper. But even that's retiring this year and when we're getting new ones. And I said, if there was one pack of cardstock that I predict would carry over into the new catalog, it would be the In Good Taste because of it's all textile and it's not actually made to go with a sweep. And ding, 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 I, I nailed it. <laughs> don't always do that. Listen, I don't always, I, and I don't know any of that. I was just guessing. But they will be carrying this In Good Taste designer series paper over. And it's all like wood and and like uh, we got like burlap and canvas and textiles um, all on this uh, In Good Taste Designer Series paper here. And it is just awesome. Awesome, awesome sauce here. So hopefully you guys can see. Hopefully you guys can get a good look at that. Okay. So I've pre-cut some pieces here for us already. I'm going to go ahead and take the one that I pre-cut. This is, I just used um, one of the wood gray ones from the, the designer series paper pack, but you could use other designs in there. The designer series paper obviously can be changed. Okay, so we are going to score this on the long side. So the scoring blade on this cutter is the lighter one. We're going to score it at half inch. Put that right in there. And, then, and again, you don't need to write these down because I have that free PDF for you guys. I like to make it easy. Two and an eighth. And three and three quarters. Okay, so we've got our our folds. Oops, I got a little too excited there. Go light on the scoring blade when you're doing designer series paper. All right, and short side we're gonna do at one and five eighths. It's all right, though. That, see how I got a little excited? I ripped it with the scoring blade, but it's okay because we're going to cut there anyway. Um, these, it's the same on, right now, top and bottom are the same, but once I start cutting, um, one side will be top and one side will be bottom. And since that one's already partway done, that's going to be our top. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to cut out one whole side here and then one tab. I'm pretty sure I did that backwards. We might be flipping it over. We might be doing a burlap. <laughs> we might be doing it this way. There we go. Um, but regardless, this is what it should look like when you're done. I don't know. You know what? I bet I could put this on backwards. I'm trying to, you know, if I put it on backwards, this see this lid right here, it would just pop up from the other side. I think that's fine. So our bottle would go this way instead of this way. I think that's fine. We'll go with it. Okay. So there we go. Now, the, the next thing I'm going to take here is I took a little strip. Uh, and, you know, we have all these scraps of designer series paper. So I took a, a, a strip of that, and it's uh, I have the measurements on there. It's like a half inch, just a strip of any, any of the, the uh, in good taste would go there. And I just scored it at a uh, half an inch, one inch, one inch, one inch. So that's going to be our little prop. All right. So we can start building, pulling all our pieces here. So 
So we've got our bar here, we've got our holder, we've got our stamped images, we've got our card base, and we are missing some copper foil. Copper foil carrying over, yay. <laughs> we love the copper. And then this is gonna be our background in here. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. I didn't pre-score this one. I'm gonna actually um, burnish the fold when I put this on here. And the reason why is because I pre-scored the original one and then it didn't line up perfectly and it annoyed me. <laughs> so this time I'm not gonna pre-score, I'm just gonna put it on here. Okay. So I, I just use seal adhesive that's going on flat. And then I'll go ahead and if I can find my own photo, burnish that there. And now it's straight and it's not that it's not going to annoy me because <laughs> it wasn't when it wasn't straight. I was like, ah, all right. So let's see. Next up, I think we should attach our cups. Now on my original, I attach the cups up. I'm just going to hold this flat so you guys can see it. I attached them up a little bit. I thought they looked cute that way, but they kept bumping my um, bottle of whiskey so it didn't go down flat. So this time I'm not going to do that. And this time I'm going to put them down lower and I'm just going to go ahead and put them down. I'm going to use seal adhesive before I attach um, this to the, the card base. So I did kind of make them so that it looked like they were clinking when it was closed. Isn't it such a cute set? I love it. And I love that it's different. I love when they, they, they go outside the box and do fun things like this. Okay, so when it goes when it sits on our card, it's gonna look like that. Alright, now this one, I believe I need one more. I feel like I'm missing one here. Am I missing one? Yes. I'm gonna recut this because I don't believe it's correct. Um Actually, you know what? Here we go. I've got a, a, I got a, I've got a scrap piece all ready to go, all fired up and ready to go. So I'm just going to cut it down to a half an inch. What I basically wanted to do here, <laughs> excuse me, is create a box. Wow, that was the worst cutting job ever. <coughs> excuse me. I guess we'll try that again. Half inch. And then I'm going to just go in there and score it at every inch. So we got inch, score, score, <laughs> score. Sounds like a sports event, right? <laughs> okay, so we got, oh, I can't even see my score on that one. Sorry, sorry. There we go. That either. I don't like what I'm doing here. I think I'm one inch, right? One inch. One inch. And one inch. Try that again. One, two, three, and four. There we go. So this is what I wanted to create right there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take the scissors. I mean, pa paper trimmer works fine too. You don't need to use the scissors and cut off the rest of that. So it ended up being, because my measurement might be off there, five and a quarter. And what did I tell you to do? Four and three quarters. All right, so you might want to make this um, half inch strip a little bit longer than I told you to. All right, so this one, and I'm just going to go ahead and use seal. If you want to use something stronger, I do recommend that whenever we're doing um, any cards that move or you know, pop-up cards, things like that. So I'm going to go ahead and attach that together. I'll show you what I'm doing there so that I have our the, the rectangle shape there. I just want to make sure that it's going to fold down flat. When I... There you go. And then I'm going to attach it, and it's the same. It's one inch on all the sides, 
So it doesn't matter which side you choose here. I'm going to choose the ugly side, the one that didn't, the one that I put together and didn't line up perfectly. No one's going to see any of this anyway, so it doesn't matter which one you choose. But I'm going to stick that on the bottom of the, oops, sorry, through <laughs> the bottom of the bottle that I just threw on the floor. Good thing it's not real glass. Oh my gosh! You know what else? Before I put this on here, can we do a little more coloring? Do you guys mind? There was one other little coloring piece that I did on um, the magic card that I didn't do on this one that I love. I absolutely love. Um, and so just make sure that the bottom edge lines up with that. You don't want it to overhang. Okay. All right, so do you guys mind if I do this? It's quick and easy, okay? I'm taking the balmy blue. I'll just go with the light. We'll do it again on um, on Friday's card. So just take a little bit of this balmy blue, just kind of highlight around the edges here, just using the shading on, the, on the, the image that was already there. Look at how much that pops, right? It's so cool. Just a tiny little bit of blue on there, just boom, makes it pop. Sorry for that little sidetrack. Sorry for my sidetrack rant. Okay, so our bar's going to be a little bit backwards today, and we're okay with that. I'm just going to kind of hold this in just so I know where to where I want to line up the the bottle there. Like, and I want it at an angle because when it opens, it's gonna. I want it to kind of. When it pops up, I want it to look like it's straight on there. So put a little bit of adhesive on the bottom of that. Okay, so it looks like this. I've got adhesive on the bottom edge. And I'm going to put it on here at an angle. So when it pops up, it looks like it's in the middle. And then we'll go ahead and put some adhesive on the two edges here. They are going to go like that. Again, if you want to use sticky strip or seal plus for a little bit of stronger hold there, always, always a uh, good idea. For today, I'm just going to do this. I'm lining it up with the bottom edge of the designer series paper. Okay, so we've got flat, and then this pops open, and that closes. I might want to shim a little bit off of that that edge up there. We can do that as we go. So we've got kind of our inside, and now we just need our bar. Okay, I'm going to shim not too much, just a hair off of here with the scissors. Just a hair. Look, a hair, hair. <laughs> All right, so that I'm going to try to do this so you can see it. Can you see that in there? So that when it closes, there. Ta da! Okay, so now we need to finish it off. We're going to take that copper and I'm going to score on either end at a half inch. You know what? I, I, I'm i going to give you another tip here. I'm going to score one side at a half inch and then you're just going to you're going to kind of want to work it under there. You might want to just just make sure that you've got a half an inch here so that it, it stays down flat and it looks like we do. So I think we're good here. We're good with this one. So we're going to slide that under on this side, slide it under on this side. I know I don't have the adhesive on it just yet. I just want to make sure that it fits. Yes. 
so it's a tiny little bit short right there which means that if I put it on the cards not gonna it's not gonna lay flat so I think what I'm gonna do is and, and I'm just gonna keep on using this one but I'm gonna maybe score in just a tiny little bit I don't think it'll be noticeable. What you almost want to do is like hold this, sorry, you can't see that. Hold this over here and put a tick mark where you want to score just so it's exactly right. But I think this is good. I think this will work just fine. All right, so seal plus, uh, tear tape. And then I will permanently attach it. So I, I, I intentionally didn't put a lot of adhesive on the back of that. And you can add it after. You can put a little bit on now if you want to, to get the whole thing to stay down. I just The reason why was because I knew I was going to lift it back up again to put this, this uh, copper bar down. And we'll do the same on this side. Perfect. Perfect. And then it pops up. We got our pop-up card. Okay, so the last thing we want to do here is put on our words. Again, I'm just going to put those on flat, straight up. Okay, right in the middle. All right, so we've got our bar. And, and it will stay when you, when you put it up here. It stays like that. I have to hold it because I'm holding it upside and I'm holding it kind of on its back right now <laughs> so you guys can see it. Okay, so remember at the beginning I told you I was going to do something a little bit, I was going to take this a little further. All right, so I mean that itself is cool and I know right up, the, right up and I'm, I'm just looking at the recent comments and I don't see it in here because you know why, Because probably because I told you. I, I gave it away, right? I knew someone was going to say, where do you sign? Where do you sign your name? Where do you sign the card? Okay, so there's two ways that you can do this. You can take a piece of uh, white or shimmer white, since I use shimmer white on the card, and you can stick it here and sign here on the back. Okay, so that's the easiest way. Not that anything's hard, because nothing is hard. Okay, so then when you your card pops up, and then you have your greeting on the back, and it fits right into an envelope. Or you can take it a step further. Remember when I cut two? Remember when I started, I cut two bases? Okay, so... Here's what I'm going to do with the second base. Now, I haven't done this yet. I am experimenting right here with you guys. I just spotted this idea right before the video. And I thought, oh my gosh, how great is this? Okay, so. I'm going to go ahead and attach that to the, so I've got the back side of the card. Okay, so the card opens like this, right? And I just attach this to the this side right here. Okay, and then. that right there. So now you kind of have like a card within a card, right? <laughs> card within a card. Okay, so we have our pop-up card and on the back. So when it stands, it would stand like this. Okay, so you've got your pop-up part over here and you've got your card and I'm just going to, sorry, I'm just going to hold it there. There you go. And then you've got your card on this side that you can sign. So two different ways to do it, right? But super cool, super easy. And again, lays flat and it fits in the medium-sized envelope, which means we don't have to do any, you know, to do anything special with the envelope. I just took a, another piece of scrap paper and put it down the bottom, and took another of the, the little whiskey bottles and put that right there. And then this goes right inside, and you've got, boom, right. And so that's a medium-sized envelope. All of these supplies that I use today, um, they're on that free PDF. There's hot links, quick links right to these um, in my online store. You'll find them there. And um, that you'll find that on my resource page. I have a resource page for this that has the video. It'll have the video replay. And it will have all the details. But you can purchase all of these supplies there too. Super easy. Or just go to stampwithtammy.com. Um, and the Whiskey Business stamp set is there. So fun. 
Um, so I hope that you have enjoyed this. I have to, just a couple of things that I have to remind you because I don't want anyone to miss out on this. Um, this morning, actually this morning, um, earlier this morning, this updated, this is the uh, clearance rack refresh. There's brand new items in my clearance rack at 60% off. These are just continued items. And some of them were hard to find, hard to get items. I don't know if you saw, I posted on Facebook that um, countdown calendar, the countdown calendar was there. Oh my gosh, I was so excited to see that. So I know everybody was, that, that sold out the, when it first came out because they could not make them fast enough. They couldn't get them here fast enough. And it's 40% off. So you might want to check that out. Things are selling out, but there's still good stuff there. And while you're there, pick up your favorite retiring list stuff because there's only a couple of weeks left to get that. And those are up to 60% off as well. So uh, those two things, very important. Don't forget to drop a comment and you'll be entered into my drawing with that on the, the actual video on Facebook or YouTube, whether you're watching live or the replay. And don't... <laughs> too many buttons. Don't forget to uh, come back on Friday at noon Eastern Standard Time when I am going to share how to make that um, magic card, which is different. It's a different style than I normally um, do my magic card. So that's going to be really fun too. So we'll look forward to that. I thank you for joining me today and uh, have a great day.